Hey guys, Hamish here from Hobbies Direct, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set the failsafe on a FlySky GR3E receiver. The failsafe is designed to prevent runaways when the receiver loses signal with the transmitter, either due to low battery, signal interference, or the RC model has been driven out of range. The failsafe is a clever built-in system into most hobby grade 2.4 gigahertz radios, and when set correctly, can be a real car saver, as I've seen my fair share of expensive models run away at full speed with the driver in hot pursuit on foot. Essentially, the failsafe is a default position for channel two, which is your throttle channel. I'm going to show you how to set up the failsafe correctly on both a petrol and electric RC car, as they will be different due to the braking systems. One uses a mechanical brake and the other is using a motor braking system. Let's start with setting the failsafe on a petrol RC car. I've got my trusty Roven Baja 5B, which is happily volunteered to be demonstrated on. Let us start by checking where the failsafe is set to. To do this, we'll need to simulate signal loss. Quick tip, whenever testing or checking your failsafe, make sure your engine isn't running or that the wheels on your electric RC car are removed. First turn on the transmitter and then the car as normal. Then turn the transmitter off. The LED on the receiver will start to flash slowly to indicate the signal has been lost. Then check where either the throttle server or ESC defaults to. If set correctly, the throttle server should go to the brake position to pull the car up to a stop. If you have an electric RC car, it should be set to neutral as the ESC is generally programmed to apply the drag brake. What we don't want to happen is for the throttle servo to go full throttle or the ESC to go either forward or backwards when the signal is lost from the transmitter. If you need to set your failsafe correctly, turn on both the transmitter and receiver and then hold the desired position, either full brake for petrol powered models or neutral for electric cars. Then press and hold the set button on the GR3E receiver until it flashes red to indicate the failsafe has been set. Double check to ensure it has been set correctly before taking it out for its first run. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you'd like to stay up to date with our upcoming RC videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.